Good evening. Ngayong gabi ay gagawa tayo ng attachment ng ating 1601 EQ. Ito ay ang uh, QA pay o the quarterly alpha list of pays. So, first, download yung alpha list data entry 7.0 ng bagong version at yung alpha list validation 7.0. So, start tayo. So, medyo mahaba-haba itong video na to. Panoorin hanggang huli. Kasi ito ay complete tutorial, step by step. Click natin yung Alphalist Data Entry. So, so kailangan mo lang mag-register dito, padali lang. Gagawa ka lang ng username at password. So, good to go na. So, ako nakagawa na, kaya login na lang ako. Okay, click natin yung QA Pay. Then, 1601E. Since we are working in 4th quarter ng 2021, ilalagay natin ito ay October so ilalagay natin ay 10-2021 amended return no any tax withheld yes for the month for the quarter of fourth quarter then add update magpapap up naman dyan kung anong month ka gagawa so October 2021 tama ilalagay mo lang yung tax identification number ng Uh, lesser mo yung, yung may ari nung inuupahan mo then alpha numeric tax code WC100 kaya nung sabi ko WC100 pag corporate WI100 pag individual ilagay mo yung amount ng income payment ang ilalagay ko dito ay 5,000 yung monthly rent ko so automatic may tax rate na siya na 5% so yung amount withheld is 250 yan yung binayaran ko nung October which is the 0619E then click save mo lang tapos pwede ka na mag exit ang gagawin naman natin yung month of November so ito month of November baguhin mo lang siya 11-20-21 ganun ulit amended return no tax withheld yes For the, for the quarter of fourth quarter then add update so ilagay ulit ang T number ng leaser then again ATC WC100 pilihin mo yung WC100 enter the amount yung monthly rent mo then click save exit So, gagawin mo naman ngayon ang month for this December. So, 12, 2021. Amended return, no. Tax withheld, yes. So, fourth quarter. Add update. December 2021. Okay. Proceed. Add. Then, ganun ulit. Then, number ng leaser. Enter. ATC. WC100 ulit Then amount income payment Yung monthly rent mo So 5,000 Of 5% is 250 Add Save Then exit So generate file na natin to So para mag generate ng file Punta ka lang sa For the month of October. So, ilagay mo yung 10, 2021. Then, quarter of fourth quarter. Tapos, generate file mo na. So, kailangan natin mag-generate file kasi ito ang gagamitin natin pang attach sa ating e-submission sa BIR. Sundan mo lang yung video na to. Hindi, hindi ka magkakamali sa gagawin mo. So, click save.
scroll down, hanapin naman natin yung 12, 20, 21. Ayun. So, click. Okay. Then, baguhin mo lang yan for the month of December. So, 12, 20, 21. I'll proceed. 12, 20, 21. Validate file. Select. Okay. No errors encountered. Validation successful. Click OK. Doon. Okay. So, pwede kayo magtanong kung medyo naguluhan kayo sa explanation ko. So, comment down lang. So, ayun. Proceed na tayo sa e-submission natin. So, punta kayo lang sa Gmail mo. Compose email to e-submission at bir.gov.ph So, na-automatic din sa akin. So, gagawin tayo ng subject. So, ang subject na ilalagay natin is so, QA pay 1601EQ 4Q2021. QAP 1601EQ 4 quarter dash 2021. So, importante itong ating subject sa required yan ni BIR. So, yung body natin is ilagay mo yung T number mo. So, T number mo. Next is yung taxpayer's name. Then, registered address. Yung nakalagay sa COR mo kung anong nakalagay na registered address doon. Yun ang ilalagay mo. So, next is contact number. Then, attach natin yung files na generate natin kanina. So, nandito siya. Hanapin mo lang. Pag nag-attach file ka, automatic yan. Nandyan. So, punta ka sa encrypted file. O kahit nasa labas na siya, okay na yun. Kasi generated na naman yun at successful na yung validation nun. So, encrypted file. So, hanapin mo yung 10, 20, 21. Yun. 10, 20, 11, at saka 12. So, tatlong files yan. So, attach. Inuna ko yung October, which is yan, 10, 20, 21. Next. Touch mo yung 11, 20, Open. Automatic mag attach yan sa email mo na kinompose. Then, the last one yung pang December 2021. 12, 2021. Yun. Hanapin mo yung 12, 2021. So, be careful lang. Baka iba yung may send mong files dyan kasi maraming dot file yan. Yun, 10, 11, 12, 2021. Sorry, 2021. 10, 11, 12. Yun. So, send. Okay. Nasend na natin sa BIR. Wait na lang natin yung email confirmation at validation mismo ng BIR. So, mag email in return sila. So, check mo lang lahat yan. So far, okay naman. So, ito na yung email na isend ni Bayer sa'yo confirming na valid lahat ng files. So, that's all. Ganun lang po kadali yan. Medyo mahirap lang sa mga baguhan. So, kung nagustuhan mo yung video na to, like and subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.